In this tutorial, we are going to see all the appropriate statistical tests and procedures that can be used to analyze surveys in mostly Likert scale surveys from beginning till the end, especially when you are using an online survey uh, through Google Forms, Qualtrics, SurveyMonkey, or other web-based platforms. So stay tuned till the end of the video so as to walk through all these procedures. So to start with, we have this example here, which is on Google Forms, and uh, we can simply first download the data by going to the responses and then view in sheets this green icon. And what will happen is that we will have this Google spreadsheet like this. So the first step is to download the data. So I will go to file, then I will go to download, then I will choose Microsoft Excel or uh, comma separated values, which is CSV. So I would just choose comma separated values, CSV, especially because I intend to use JASP and Jamovi, which are open access tools. So I will just choose CSV. So once I, it is downloaded, I simply go to the download folder and I will open folder. And I can simply get the data here in CSV. So I will open it here using Microsoft Office Excel. And here is the data. So simply I will start cleaning the data. I will remove the timestamp since it is not needed for the gender, age, etc. I will need to claim age like since it is a continuous variable. So I will remove these, uh, let's say, letters so that I can just keep the numbers. And then I keep processing like this till I finish data cleaning, like 24 here in letters. I will change it into numbers. Again, I will need to start coding this data. So I will uh, just replace first female. So I will just click Control H or Command H, and then I will find female, and then I will replace them with one, and then match case entire cell content so that I won't suddenly uh, replace male as well. So I will click Replace All. Now I coded all the, the females. Then I will do the same for the male. So I will just put two and replace all. And now all the males have been coded. So after that, I have education and I have to what extent do you agree with these statements? So I simply want to remove these. So uh, I'm not going to do that because I already have the scales uh, coded and everything. So if I go back to the uh, survey, I can see how I can code this, like I can use this survey as a code book. So simply, do you have a laptop? No, yes, no, yes. So here I have two questions that are the same. So I will just code no as zero and yes as uh, one. So do you have a laptop here? So they are at the end. So I will simply con con click control H and I will just highlight the columns that I need to, to code. And I will put zero for no, replace all, and the yes for coded as one. So this is called binary coding, and then replace all. And here I managed to code the yes no questions. Here in this uh, section, I have tick all that apply question or questions. So this one has a special procedure, I will show it to you.